Hello everyone, I've talked about this before and I'm talking about it again. Why is NYC still sending people to other states? Yes, let's say we can't scrap the program. Yeah, it's there's a particular need that it fulfills. There are certain people, that's the only place they get their experience. There are some certain people they've never worked before, they need whatever. But can we get to a place whereby people will only be posted to where they are? So that you don't need to travel. The burden of traveling to another state doesn't come up again. Let people make those choices. Now we have people being put, put on, or, or on the roads. People are being kidnapped. NYC doesn't do anything. The government doesn't do anything. Nothing. We have some NYC members that, have been, that were kidnapped, I think, around Gusau Road, around Sokoto Gusau Road, till, till date. Over 100 days, they're still in captivity. Nobody is even talking about them. Now we have another young lady that has recently been uh, kidnapped again. The NYC has not even bothered to contact the family or even talk to them or even do anything. In short, you even see them telling you all sorts, all sorts of things. I saw one post going around the way they're saying that, oh, you should try to befriend your kidnapper, your abducts. I just hope that's a fake one. Because I'm just, I'm just too in shock to even go and start very far, like, I just, but I know there was something that they did put in about kidnapping in their pamphlet. That was three years ago. We raised the doors, you know, Nigerians, we make the mass and everything. You know, it was it all went away, went away. But this whole thing that we have right now needs to stop. There's so there's too much insecurity in the country for NYC to keep putting people on the road. For NYC to keep sending people out of their station. If somebody is in their station and then they travel, well, that's the person making that decision on their own. This lady, this Esther that was taken away, she was come, returning back to her home state, Benue State. Uh, she, she, she's serving in Edo State to come back and then go back. And then she, she was abducted. How do we continue to allow this to happen? We need to take actions. NYC needs to come up with a solution that doesn't put people in danger. And if one, let me not even blame parents that. I don't even know. I don't know. Because even we are citizens, I just feel sometimes we are too selfish. We just believe that, oh, it happened to other people. It, it won't happen to us. Things continue. You've not seen NYC, you know, members coming out to say that, oh, no, this shouldn't happen. Or, oh, no, this, we're not going to serve or we're going to do nothing. No, no demand, nothing. Everybody's going to ask, ask like, ah, thank God it's not me. Thank God I survived. That's this mentality of the average Nigerian right now. And which is such a shame. And that's the reason why all of these things are happening. Because we are not looking at it as injustice to one, it's just injustice to all. We are not looking at it that way. We are looking at it that, thank God I survived. Forgetting that yesterday's survivors, you understand, yesterday's victims, rather, were once survivors. Today's victims were yesterday's survivors. And tomorrow's victims will be today's survivors. Oh, question I always ask, and I'm going to ask again now. Who, in it, who is next?